what is going on? This is Jammin' coming back at you with yet another video. And right now, I'm in front of the Buddy Holly Center in Lubbock, Texas. The reason I'm here is just to do a little exploring, pay my respects to the legend of Buddy Holly. Uh, I've always been a huge fan of his. Interesting story about how I learned about Buddy Holly was actually through a band named Weezer. And if you remember Weezer, they had a song entitled Buddy Holly. And I never knew who they were at the time. I was like a junior in high school and I heard that song for the first time. And I was like, who's Buddy Holly and Mary Tyler Moore? And so after doing a little research and talking to people, I discovered Buddy Holly and other great bands like Johnny Cash and the Tennessee Two and uh, others like that because I didn't grow up on that kind of stuff. I got into it when I was in junior high school. But here we are right here in front of the Buddy Holly Center as you can see right here. You cannot do any filming inside which is kind of unfortunate but rules are rules and I don't want to break any rules but yeah just it's very mind-blowing to be right here at this moment. So I figured I'd show off just a little bit of the outside of the museum and then we'd go see his grave. But yeah, take a look at this. So right here you have the Buddy Holly Center, the glasses that sit outside, and then this is his preserved house. How neat is that? That's the house where he recorded some of his music with his band, the Crickets, and his wife. And so, yeah, when everybody Holly died, it was the day the music died. Very sad, and just had a very short life. But anyways, it is what it is. Let's go take a look at his grave site. This right here is Buddy Holly's glasses that were recovered from the plane wreck. Pretty mind blowing. So, I forgot to mention right across from the museum itself is a little memorial plaque of Buddy Holly himself. Let's take a look. Commemorating the historic concert of music legend Sir Paul McCartney in Lubbock, Texas on October 2nd, 2014 at the United States Supermarkets Arena in his admiration for Lubbock's own Buddy Holly. So this is the Walk of Fame. And here are some of the main plaques. Of 
course we have the crickets there. Buddy Holly down here. Jimmy Dean, one of my favorites. And of course, cannot forget legendary Roy Orbison, my personal favorite. Snuff Garrett, CB Stub, the Hometown Boys. A lot of greats here, folks. Sunny West. And then of course here we have the statue of the legend himself. The day the music died. Mr. Buddy Holly. Pretty awesome. So off in the distance over here, they make it very easy for you to find is Buddy Holly's grave. So yes, yeah, so you can enter into the cemetery. All you do is simply make a right, and this sign is just right over here, pointing to where he would be. Simple enough, right? So, then we'll make a left, and... There he is. The day music died. A lot of people have left pennies, guitar picks. There's a Texas Tech hat, golf ball. Then next to him, we have Lawrence Holly. and Ela P. Holly. So yeah, when this man died, he, uh, it just shocked the music world. There have been so many people who have inspired to be just like him. Uh, people that, you know, it, it just surprises me, like some of the influences that Buddy had. Of course, you know, some were like the Beatles and Weezer and other different bands like that, but very iconic character, lived a very short life, died at the age of 22, and here he rests. So. And while I was at the museum, I did buy these sunglasses. Rest in peace, buddy.